Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to format the text in a document by using different font styles and increasing and decreasing the size of the text. Let us switch to text studio. I have some text already written here in the article document class. Well, now let us make some text bold. We will make what you see is what you get editors bold. So, we write slash text bf open curly brace, we come here and we close our curly brace. Now, let us emphasize on text content is written in plain text. So, we write slash emph open curly brace, we come here and we close our curly brace and let us underline the word concentrate. So, we write slash underline open curly brace, concentrate and close curly brace. Let us build and run. As you can see, what you see is what you get editors is highlighted in bold, the content is written in plain text is emphasized and the word concentrate is underlined. Now, let us switch back to our slides. Here is a list of some text formatting commands which you can use to format the text. We have seen text behalf, emphasize and underline. Well, feel free to practice these which are given here. So, now that we have learned to format some text, let us explore how we can increase or decrease the size of the text. These are some commands which do the needful. Let us explore them. So, let us say we want to make this word tech large. So, we write slash large tech and we build and run it. Okay. The word tech has indeed become larger, but the text following it has also become large. Okay, I know that you will say that we did not put a curly brace. Well, let us do it. So, we write slash large open curly brace tech and close curly brace. We build and run, well no difference. There is a slight variation in the way we write curly brace for defining the font size. The difference is that we write the curly brace before we define the large command. We build and run, all right. Only the word tech has become large, whereas others are in normal size. This means, that while defining or changing the font size, one must first open the curly brace, write the latex command and close the curly brace after the text we want to format. Let us look at another example. Let us make slash footnote size material with less efforts, open curly brace and close curly brace. We build and run, there you go. So, we have seen bold, emphasize, underline, tech with a larger font size and material with less efforts with the font size as footnote size. Now, let us assume that you have lot of text and keeping track of a curly brace of a text size is a bit difficult. So, we write the command without the curly brace. Let us write some random text slash lipsum 1-2 slash lipsum 3 dash 4, we include our package slash use package lipsum, we will then run, okay. we do have some random text over here. Let us resize it, okay. now let us write tiny font size t i n y and we build and run without the curly brace. As you can see, all the paragraphs have become tiny. What if we want this paragraph to be in the normal size? It would be great to revert back to the default size and the command is slash normal size. We will then run, there you go. So, these two paragraphs are in tiny size whereas the other two paragraphs are in the normal size. 
Let us switch back to our slides. You can try these commands as well. So, now you can change the font size and use different font styles in the document. Thank you. Have a nice day.